Hi everybody, Dan Ullman here with the Woodbine Play of the Day for Friday, December the 13th. I'm going to focus on race number eight. We'll take a look at the field right now. It is a maiden special weight for fillies and mares, three-year-olds and up to close out the Friday Woodbine card. It is a big field and as usual here on the Woodbine Play of the Day, I'm going to try to find one horse that you can key either in a single or multiple race exotic wager. And I think the tepid favor on the outside swilling is that key three to one on the morning line for swilling a daughter of discreet cat who began her career on the turf with a couple of good efforts she ran well last time out on a synthetic track she's three to one on the morning line one of the reasons i'm on swilling in here is because i'm kind of off a couple of other horses beginning with the number six bay harbor let's talk a little bit about bay harbor bay harbor last time out was favored in a maiden special weight and we can give her some excuses for that race as you see it was run under testing conditions to be sure a driving snowstorm she's on the outside here in the blue silks and you just see her on her left lead she was four wide on the back stretch she has every chance here at six to five and she just doesn't change leads and go by in the lane she was flat maybe she bounced off of her career best buyer 71 from the start before but it's not like she was coming back on a week or two weeks rest she had a month off trainer kevin attard's going to put blinkers on i think we're going to see bay harbor a lot more forwardly placed in this race but i also think she's going to get bet down from that nine to two on the morning line and off the most recent performance i kind of want to see that again joyful cat the number four was also a beaten favorite in her most recent race she faced the top selection in here swilling we'll go back to that race on november the 22nd joyful cat was able to make a pretty easy lead she turns into the stretch she's in control swilling is the number two now swilling was didn't break very well saved ground behind this moderate pace made a very quick burst to get into contention on the turn and now we see her kind of hanging a little bit on the outside this race was at a mile and a 16th and I just think it might be a little far for Swilling, who's going to cut back to seven furlongs here and might get a fairer pace. And with that quick burst of speed, it's not like she's a grinder that can sustain her run. And it's still early in her career, probably too early to make that estimation. But from what I've seen thus far, she's kind of push button. Maybe Eureka Rosa de Silver will get her to relax in the back of the pack and maybe at the right time push that button and at seven furlongs, she can run these horses down. Swilling three to one on the morning line. She's my Woodbine play of the day for Friday, December the 13th. I wouldn't want to take anything less than two to one, but I think in a big field like this, there's going to be a tepid favor. And that was her synthetic track debut. She showed she could handle it. She's run well on turf previously, and I believe she has some upside potential. So kind of against Joyful Cat, kind of against Bay Harbor. I think we can key on Swilling to close out the card on Friday. Best of luck.